Yes, Mzanzi, welcome back. Your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We're opening up to some magic and someone who is about to make magic. Now, listen to this. Taking a trip from the Cape to the Caribbean seems like the perfect journey to relaxation, right? Well, would you feel the same way if your cruise ship was a rowboat and you had no one else with you. You made the journey all on your own. Well, this is the mammoth task that adventurer and photographer Ryan Jacobs plans to embark on in the aim to be the first African person of color to row the entire Atlantic Ocean solo. Now, we caught up in the, well, he first got our attention, obviously, when we saw him on the Inside SA, and he's joining us in the studio to share more about this crazy journey that he is absolutely passionate about. Ryan, my man, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good in yourself. Are you, are you crazy, firstly? I don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't think I'm crazy at all. I just, uh... It's not crazy at all. I love it, man. Dude, <laughs> you're doing something absolutely incredible. Firstly, let's talk about what we saw on the Insider, which we're getting a chance to see that repeat happening tomorrow at 1 yeah. p.m. Yeah. Obviously, a conversation about this incredible row. But what else did you get up to, man? What else can uh, we look you forward know, to seeing? Um, it's been quite crazy. You got a call from this person. that like, we want to do the show on yeah. you. And uh, I'm used to being behind the camera, but I want to get my boat, so I said, yeah. And um, went for it. And all the things I love doing, went kayaking, not very good at kayaking. <laughs> um, you know, talked a bit about my adventure and uh, me wanting to row across the Atlantic uh, in December this year. Yeah. And, and, and look, it's not just about you. Clearly, yes, you're doing something crazy right now, but what you're representing to me is what is bringing the utmost inspiration to the story. Uh, you're changing a narrative, especially when it comes to the adventure scene, when it comes to the space. You and I are fortunate enough to be educated and be uh, uh, privy to the space of the outdoors, yeah, climbing, hiking. Definitely. But you're changing the narrative completely. Being someone of color in the space, that's huge, man. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for you, though? It's, ju it's not just a road, clearly. No, it's not. It's, it, um... You know, on one hand, I want the best for myself, and in order to do that, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, but as someone who spends a lot of their time in the outdoors adventuring, I don't see myself represented. I don't see people like me represented. Yeah. And representation is important, bro. It's important for, it inspires people and validates people. It shows people what more they can do and what more they can become. Like, we, like, we love the outdoors. Have you yeah. been outside? <laughs> you know, it's, it's good. It's good for your soul, it's good for your mental health, it's good for your physical health. The more people that have access to that, the healthier we will be, the better for them. And um, I think brands and various other, you know, when it comes to the outdoors itself, when people don't see themselves, they're less likely to try new things. Yeah. You know, and the more people and the more, the more people like them doing cool, sh doing cool stuff, you know, like, I want to be the first, yeah. but I know I won't be the last. Even if I fail, even if I fail, I still win. So, I love that. Yeah. I think the narrative for me speaks quite clearly to what we do outside and in the outdoor world. When you're climbing, when you're going in the mountain, you're opening up a new path. You're yeah. showing a new way. And with that, you're showing people that it is actually possible. It doesn't exactly. have to be a dream. It just needs to be an action. And like you said, you do whatever it takes Dala, what you must. Literally oh. to the point of you naming your <laughs> rowboat Dala. Da I'm assuming it obviously speaks to the fact of a, a saying it's... that we essentially live by now, being a, a malmin, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, <laughs> Dala, what you must. Talk to me about the name and what does it mean to you, man? Why, why use that? It's ours. Yeah. I think, you know, Cops is a beautiful language mm. and even the representation with that is lacking. Um, Dala, what you must is the simplest philosophy for anything. Uh, like I said before, I want the best for my life, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to achieve that. And for me, it's dollar what you must. Do it, do it, do it. No matter what, even if I fail, I'll lie to myself and just keep on. You know, Love it's, um, we do what we have to do to achieve the best. I like that, and I, I like how you've taken it from the space of uh, generally perceived as the hustle, yeah. doing work, making money. You're changing that script, and you're saying you can dial what you must in any space. Everything. That you're playing. Everything. Literally, is playing in the space of the entire Atlantic Ocean. You know, We're gonna dial it, right? And I, I wanted to resonate with people like us, with South Africans, with people of color. It's uh, like I could name my boat something in Latin, but I don't speak Latin. Yeah. I know what dial means. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and we can feel it. Man, I'm, I'm so excited to chat to you. Obviously, it's not just the rowing that you're involved in. No. You've also got a beautiful space that you play in when it comes to climbing as well. 
Yeah. Passion, obviously resonating, overlapping, is it just part of the overall medicine that you're consuming I, of I late? think it's, you know, I'm not a very good climber, but I, I, I am quite a good adventurer. And I see something that I like, and I see something that piques my interest, and I have, it gives me a dream. I saw El Capitan, and I was like, well, I'm gonna climb that one day. So oh. I, I dialed what I mustered, and uh, I did. You know, I, I saw people sailing, and I thought, shit, that would be cool. I'm gonna go sail. So I learned to sail, and I sailed the Atlantic. I don't think it's one specific activity, but I do think dreaming is, it covers all of that. And there's nothing better for me than to, maybe, I can't speak for everyone, but to achieve your dreams, that's a, that's a, that's a powerful thing. You Not know, true. regardless whether you're climbing, sailing, working in an office, you know, being a parent, um, you know, dreams are powerful. They really are, man. I think you speak testament to the fact that you are making dreams materialize, no matter what space you play in. And this is going to be one incredible journey. Of course, Mzanzi, you want to catch up with this legend, with the adventurer. You can catch the repeat tomorrow, 1 p.m. That's opening up on S3. It's called The Insider, and it's got all the action coming from this man. And don't go anywhere, because we are going to be getting into some rowing tips, as well as nutrition tips, with this crazy man on the couch. We'll see you in just a bit. <laughs>